Well, hello everybody. This is Dale, and this is Tim. And here we are for our first regular season game of the year uh, against Wayne High School. Uh, the score didn't turn out very well. It was three to two. Uh, Wayne won. Uh, Tim, what'd you see out there today? I saw Luke Carnegie's battle battle really hard um, for what did he go six innings? Six innings and ninety five or so pitches, maybe. Uh, I thought he showed a lot of leadership, and it, you know. Cold day, uh, first game of the season. I just really appreciated Luke's, Luke's uh, leadership and his courage. Yep, and Luke did it with the bat too. I mean, he got a hit. Uh, he was he got a, a, a on walked. So you know he, he was getting on base. And he was trying to make some things happen. Um, I know that uh, coach is out there. He's got some things to do. Some teachable moments today. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we had a few things. Uh, we had some missed opportunities. It was a game where we were talking about up here in the press box or the sandbox as we now call it. Uh, that there wasn't much margin uh, for error today. That's right. A one-run game, you can always kind of look back and say, boy, what if? Um, yeah. But uh, I did like the way that the boys kept battling, even even though they you know didn't have a great start to the game. They kept battling and they kept it interesting. So yep. that, was, that was encouraging. Yep, it was. So uh, if everybody will just hold on just a second, as soon as Coach Doug is uh, completed with the team meeting, um, we'll have him up here for his comments. So just hold on just a sec. Well, everybody, we got uh, Coach Adams back with us. Uh, Coach, this was kind of a tough game. It was a little bit cold out there, a little bit of weather. What's your thoughts? I don't care about the weather. Show up and compete. If, it's in, if I'm playing Candyland, I'm going to beat you. Got to compete. Yep. We had some uh, missed opportunities today, it looked like. We got uh, a little slow on the hitting. Looks like we had a few base running uh, miscues out there. Yeah. A few, few things you uh, can work on. Yeah, it was, I mean, we played bad, right? Um, is what it is. We played awful. Uh, four or five errors, uh, four or five base running mistakes. Um, just a bad baseball game. We did not play well. Uh, Got to be a little more competitive. I think a couple of our key players were defeated by the weather before the game started, and I guess kind of where we are. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, Tim and I were talking about, in a positive way, the uh, battle that Luke put out. Luke, Luke fought out there on the mound. Luke was an absolute warrior. Um, he fought his tail off. He deserved better. I believe he gave up three unearned because um, we didn't play defense behind him. Uh, three, four, five, I believe we had one hit. Um, Luke deserves so much better than this. Uh, D1 Wayne, he went out there. I don't believe he allowed an earned run unless some scoring stuff was a little wonky. Uh, I thought he pitched well enough to win. Um, so Luke is amazing. He's emotional. He's into the game. He's, he fights. He scrapes and claws. I mean, you know, uh, heart of a warrior, legs of a chicken, as they say, right? I mean, he's <laughs> just, he overcomes all his physical limitations and won't take no for an answer. Um, Luke was amazing. Uh, he, he proved why he deserved the ball on the opening day. Um, you know, I, I, I just I feel bad for Luke. He deserved better. Oh, yeah. Tim? Get another opportunity uh, Thursday. Who we got, Coach? Yeah, so Cedarville. Uh, Cedarville, obviously, we don't need to describe the Dayton Christians fan base who Cedarville is after they beat us in the district last year. Um, they're a really good baseball team. I think the Ohio State poll has them 11th in the state going into the preseason. Uh, we're at their place, so it's going to be a, a huge battle for us. Um, Nate Scanlon's going to take the ball, and you know, we'll see, Nate will go compete, hopefully. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where we are. We're going to have to play way better than Nike and be competitive. You need to get off the mat, coach, right? Absolutely. So we got to do practice tomorrow. I got my index cards filled with stuff we got to fix, and I got to do a better job as a coach. Uh, obviously, I let the guys down today because we played like crap. Um, so this is on me, not them, and uh, I have to do a better job. Uh, you know, so. It's my job to be to lead these guys and, and to be their best. They weren't that tonight, so this is a direct reflection of me, and we'll try to clean it up. Well, Spot our way out of the corner, come out swinging, huh? Well, you know what? Sometimes you have to take an experience like this. Uh, tough game, as bad as we played. It was a 3-2 to two game against a D1 team. We could have done a lot better, but uh, you know what? I, I'm confident that the next three games, we're going to do a lot better. And uh, well, we better because we, they're stacked up, right? We yeah. play uh, three games. We got one practice tomorrow, and we got three games in the next four days. And after that, and 
you know, we gotta we gotta be better than we were today, and I'm sure we will be, and we'll clean some stuff up in practice tomorrow, and we'll be ready for Thursday. Well, the boys are warriors. They proved in Florida that they can that they can battle back and they can fight through a little bit of adversity. So that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna plan for. So, uh, speaking of Thursday, that game is at Cedarville. It's at five o'clock. If you can be there, try to be there. Uh, but it is an important game for us. Um, so. Um, let's hope for some warmer weather um, and let's hope for no snow or sleet or crap like that. So Absolutely. Uh, until, um, until Thursday, this is Coach Adams and, yeah. and I'm Dale and we are out.